hate traveling without your PS5 and all you want to do is just play it whilst you're away? Well, keep watching because this video may actually help you. Now, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to check us out on eBay at GameXTC. You'll get valuable information on leveling up your video game hardware and software. The first thing you want to do is go into Settings, System and then Remote Play. As my remote play is already enabled, you can't see a toggle here, but on your side, you'll be able to see a toggle just underneath enable remote play. You just wanna switch this on. Once enabled, you just wanna go back one step and go down to power saving. Select features available in rest mode. And here we wanna switch on stay connected to the internet and also switch on enable turning on PS5 from network. You now go back to settings, and then users and accounts. Go to other and then console sharing and offline play. Make sure that this isn't disabled and if it is, select don't disable. And it's as simple as that. Now that the PS5 configuration is complete, let's do the rest on the iPad or on your PC. Steps are exactly the same. Now remember, when using remote play, it doesn't matter where you are in the world compared to where your PS5 is. As long as you've got good Wi-Fi, this will work. On your iPad or your PC, you want to download PS Remote Play. The link's in the description. You also want to connect your PS5 controller to your device. To do this, you want to navigate to your Bluetooth settings on your device and on your PS5 controller, hold the PS button and the share button so that it picks up the controller. Once paired, your PS5 controller should have a solid blue light and then turn orange. If you're struggling with this, we do have a video that can help you. The link's in the description. Now that's complete, you want to go back to your PS Remote Play app and follow the on-screen prompts. It will ask you to sign in to your PSN. Once you have signed in successfully with your email address, password, and also verification code, there's a couple of consent forms and a notification about connecting your controller. You then connect to your device, in my case it's the PS5, and it will check your connectivity. Once it's complete, your PS5 will then be synced. And as you can see, it has worked. So now you can enjoy your PS5 remotely. But there is one thing that we have to bear in mind when we are using remote play. Whilst you're using remote play, one of the most important things you have to remember is that when you're finished playing your game, you have to put it in rest mode. You cannot switch your console off. If you switch your console off, then you won't be able to switch it back on using the remote play. So whenever you want to use it in this manner, make sure that your console is always in rest mode. And when you're ready to play your console again, what you have to do is go back to your remote play app and connect. Because you've already signed into your PSN, you don't have to sign in again. It will remember. So until next time, enjoy and we'll catch you later.